Hi, I'm Noga Levener, and I am the co-founder and CEO of Picnic Health. And um, I'm fairly new to healthcare myself. I got started because really, like, like everyone here, I'm a, a patient. I have Crohn's disease. And my experience when I first got diagnosed um, was, was somewhat surprising to me. I think, not, not that I had given it much thought, but I always sort of expected that you know, if anything ever happened to me, if I ever got sick, there would sort of be someone in charge. There would be a doctor that would kind of take care of things, that would know everything that was going on with my care, that would explain everything to me, and that would make sure all of my other doctors also knew everything that was going on. And as it turns out, that really doesn't exist. And the only person who can do that is you, frankly, as the patient. And so um, I, I feel a little bit sheepish being disparaging of any government agencies. I'm so happy to be here at the White House. But, <laughs> but the best analogy that I've come up with to describe the, this experience to people um, is, you know, in, in my case, I, I felt when I was just getting diagnosed, I was quite sick. I felt the worst I'd ever felt physically. You know, it was tough to just get up off the couch to walk and, and get a cup of coffee. And on top of that, it was like going to the DMV every day. <laughs> and so when we started Picnic Health, we, um, we, did that, we did so with the goal of basically making that part of the experience go away for patients. Uh, the goal was that patients would have the experience dealing with their medical records that I think we all believe that patients should have. So you come to one place, you can securely sign on and see all of your information. It's not a series of weird faxed printouts that you can't really uh, interpret. It's displayed in the way that you know, we've come to expect information to be displayed in all of the other apps and websites that we use in the rest of our life. And maybe most importantly, what we have done at Picnic Health and what we're, what we're seeing is that we're actually giving patients control over their data. And that is where precision medicine comes in. So one of the things that happens when you give patients control over their data, of course, you know, we see people um, uh, giving access to family members or caregivers to make sure that they can stay in the loop and understand what's going on. Um, sometimes, you know, it will help a patient to make sure that a new doctor they're going to see can see, you know, can have access to all of their data. So they show up in the office and everything is there. But what we've seen is that patients also really, once they have control, want to contribute their information to research. And that's a strong desire, but it's something that they really just can't do if that data is locked up and siloed and hard for them to get to. And so I think I also might be one of the least qualified people here to um, give a, a primer on precision medicine. But just to be crystal clear, I think, um, you know, essentially if, if you have a group of, uh, if you have a group of patients and you've sequenced their DNA, it's actually really helpful if you then know what happened to that group of patients you know which of them got cancer. And, and you know, it's not just a yes or no question. It's at what age and what type of cancer and what did the biopsy show and what were the symptoms. And it's not just from one doctor or one EMR. It's from all of that patient's doctors, all of the hospital systems and health systems that they have been in while they were getting care. And it turns out that for researchers getting access to that complete data is a huge problem. So when we partner with researchers, uh, the reason we can make this work and, and give patients the opportunity to contribute their data is because we make it easy. We make it so that with the click of a button, a fully consented patient can understand what they're doing and make sure that their information, if they so choose, is getting contributed to the research project of their choice. And I'm very happy to announce that we've spent the last couple years learning how to request medical records from within the healthcare system. And we'll be creating a public resource 
that will give very detailed information, all of the kind of tips and tricks that we've learned for how to make sure you can successfully request your records. Everything from the forms you need to use to the phone numbers to call to follow up to, believe it or not, even the font size that you want to use in the letter that you write. And yes, that does matter with a lot of health systems. So we'll be creating this resource for the country's 500 largest hospitals and health systems. And you know, finally, on a more personal note, um, I want to add that I found out just a few months ago, um, partly because of some of the advances that people in this room have contributed to, that I am a carrier of um, a rare genetic mutation that makes me much more susceptible to develop breast cancer in my lifetime. So for me, you know, getting access to this data and making sure patients have access to this data and can contribute it to research is quite personal. It goes beyond just giving doctors access and, uh, you know, literally is something that not too long from now my life might depend on. So we're only going to be able to make advances on that timeline if we actually give patients easy access to their data so they can contribute it. And we can't wait until we have a fully interoperable healthcare system where everything works perfectly and data flows around freely. We need this to happen now for people like me and lots of the other patients who uh, I'm sure that we'll hear from. So uh, we hope that the resource that we're developing will help contribute to this and make it uh, as easy as pressing a button on your phone to understand if you're a patient, who you're contributing your data to, to consent to contributing that data, and then to actually get it into researchers' hands. Thank you. Thank you.